Okay, we're at DuPont City Hall. There's the city hall. And across the way is the police station and the fire station. And we're on Sekalichu Creek Trail. And we're gonna do the shipwreck, hopefully today. I checked the tide tables. Time right now is, I haven't got the time right now. What's the time right now? Probably about 11.20, 11.15. And the low tide is at 12.30. So hopefully we can get to the shipwreck today. If it is low, we still go down. And then we're going to go home through the street tunnel. Right, yeah. We drive back. Yeah, our plan is to go down to the beach. Walk over to the shipwreck. And walk up through the tree tunnel. So we're on Sekalichu Creek Trail in DuPont, Washington. And it's a beautiful day. Down at the uh, train bridge at the end of Sequalichu. 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 That's what I said. Ooh, smell of sea. Oh, we got a bit of a white water today. Train coming. Oh, it's low tide. Look. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get down there? Oh man, everybody's been going to the ship right Yeah. Get down this way. It looks like it down this way. Yeah. yeah. Got a broader stick. <laughs> okay, that's something we haven't seen for a while. The Olympics over there, you can see them bright, beautiful day today. So now we're gonna walk along the beach. And again, it's a popular trail, especially with the locals. So again, if you want to come down to the shipwreck, you got to come at low tide. If you come at high tide, you're not going to get to the shipwreck. What is it? You got a crab? You gonna eat? Check it out. No, it's another hour yet. Water's going out right now, yeah. Wow. It looks like it's coming in. I think high tide's about six o'clock this evening. We've had quite a bit of rain, so I guess we're getting run off. A couple of things I did to prepare for this trip. Number one, I'm wearing hiking boots. Number two, I have a hiking stick. So, you know, when you get a little older like me, you get a little bit more unsteady. So you want to help yourself out. Where we're at. We're on the Puget Sound. There's the shipwreck, Olympic Mountains, and Young Oak. Huh? <laughs> we could, couldn't we? 
Yeah, that's good. Let's walk straight. <laughs> Now there's another way you can get here. If you go to Ridgeview, uh, the end of McNeil and Ridgeview, and take that trail, you get onto the tree tunnel, what they call the tree tunnel, and you can come down the embankment here. And there's a couple of young lads I know that, well, I don't know them, I've seen them. Uh, they do that quite frequently, it's come with fish. But if you're like me, I'll be 72 next birthday, so not a good idea. And it looks like you walk about three quarters of a mile over these pebbles. I swear I saw something squared up. Yeah, I did, right there. What? It squared it up. Oh. There's some kind of mollusk. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, we might be smelling that guy's fire. That could be it. They look gorgeous, don't they? Actually, from up on the bluffs. Yeah. This is a stone throw from our house. Well, a pretty hefty stone throw. <laughs> this is where we live. Is this beautiful or what? It looks like at one time they probably had like a wharf out here. You can see the footings. And there was a lot of uh, lumber mills and sawmills and uh, other stuff uh, around this area. That's pretty cool. So this is a shipwreck. I'm not sure if it's a shipwreck or it's just abandoned. I tried to read up about it. I tried to read up about it. It's made of concrete. <laughs> you know that? Really? Yeah. It's made of concrete. And I'm guessing, because you don't see too many concrete ships around, they didn't catch up. Uh, the speculation is this belonged to DuPont. And they abandoned it. And they pulled out. I think they pulled out in the 70s. But this is going around. So here's the boat, the shipwreck. We're not spared the graffiti. He's all excited, all the barnacles on it. That's, that's a good feast in Korea. Yeah, it makes you wonder how this got this thing floated. <laughs> I kind of agree with Young Oak. I guess people get inside a bit. Uh, I'm certainly not going to do that. Again, you got the idiots with the uh, graffiti. Huh? Do you get one? Is this turtle's feet? You know? Huh? Is it turtle's feet? No, it's a mussel. Oh, mussels? Oh. I think they're barnacles, aren't they? No, it's a mussel. So we've got mussels. So if you scrape off enough of these, and take it. Yeah, and you can see the rudder. You know what this is called? The rudder. Yeah. You can look inside of it. Unfortunately, you know, it's left to. I think we should like to rock that against this. It's not going to rock very fast with being solid concrete. <laughs> but, uh. And also, it's almost three miles from City Hall to the shipwreck. Taking some nourishment over by the hedges. Okay, time for lunch. Street, uh, the ship 
bricks over there. And we got a nice view. And for lunch, we boil that. Wow, look at the eagle. Woo! Wow. Don't know if you can see the eagle over here. Ooh. Run away from us. Are you going to chase everybody today? <laughs> Eagle, right here. I don't know if you can see the eagle. See if he turns Ooh, around. Here he comes it's again. Gliding. It's coming. It's coming. Yep. Hope he hasn't got his eye on my sandwich. Do we live in paradise or what? <laughs> you have a good day. Bye, Bella. You ready for this walk back? <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is a, a bit of a drag here. It's okay if you got, like, say, hiking boots on, but you got sneakers on like Young Oak. It's a bit tough going, and also the. Uh, the seaweed, you don't want to step on that because that's pretty slick. I wonder if we can get across the river here. It'd be a lot easier. So it's either balance well or get your feet wet, which one do you want to do? We decided on the balance well and we made it. So quite a popular day down at the beach today. Yeah. So we're back on the Sequilichu uh, Lake Trail, Creek Trail, I'm sorry, Sequilichu Creek Trail. And what we're going to do now, we're going to cut across over to the, uh, I thought I finished this uh, game. So we're going to cut across the tree tunnel. So the signpost here is for a mile and a quarter. And I've got uh, 375 right now. So it's for five miles. When you, when you do the round trip, so we're crossing the creek. And it's a little muddy. Again, that's why you should wear the appropriate footwear. Yeah. Root for the trees, I like that. <laughs> Have a great day. You too. And you can see in the we're still under this pandemic thing. <laughs> Call it a better word. 
lots of people out. For the most part, people are keeping a social distance. Uh, you saw what I did on the trail there when two young ladies coming down. I stepped off the trail. And I think that's what you should do. Excuse me, how are you doing? Woo, we're at the top. And if you're not sure where we're at. Along the tree time. Yeah, the golf course is over the here. The golf course is over here. And what we're gonna do is go through a hole in the fence, they call it, to the tree tunnel. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a historical marker over there. And that's the one I was talking about. Uh, it's James Wilkes. And James Wilkes was a surveyor. And I guess he had an observation post there. And this is why they call it the tree tunnel. Oh yeah, the temperature dropped about 20 degrees, thank God. <laughs> it's beautiful. And if you look at all trails, if you look at all trails, you'll see uh, they call this trail the Sequilichu Loop. So you go down the Sequilichu and come up this way, or you come down this way and go up the Sequilichu, whichever you want to do. And it's a loop. But what you got to do at the top here, you, go, you come out of the uh, end of uh, McNeil and uh, Ridgeview so then you got to walk up M McNeil unless you want to walk back down this way you got to walk up McNeil to Bob's Hollow then walk up to Centre Drive then turn left on Centre Drive to City Hall and I assume that's where you park your vehicle and that's what we did we drove over to City Hall, left my vehicle. We got half a mile to go. And we're on trail DD, Delta Delta. Okay, we were just there. And there's still quite a few people going out there. And you can see the water's come in already since we've been there. And this area over here, in fact, you can see at the end of the boardwalk, there's a shelter, but this is the Nesqually Wildlife Refuge. Shipwrecks right there. And you can see low tide. You got this beautiful sign that uh, Uh, somebody went to make and uh, what happens is you get the idiots come over and put their damn graffiti on it beautiful sign and I'm hoping I'm going to post that picture on the, the community forum and hopefully one of the one of the guys can come out and take that off. I'm not sure they can take it off without taking off the uh, the artwork. And here's another sign, whoever made this sign, I think a little bit anti-British if, if you ask me. Well, it's true, it's not the whole truth. You know what I mean? It's slanted. Okay, did you know the highest point in Washington, Mount Rainier? It was named after Peter Rainier, a British soldier who fought against the Americans in the Revolutionary War. Well, let's just get it back straight. Number one, he wasn't a soldier. He was a Navy officer and he was in the Royal Navy. Right? And it was named after him because he was a friend of Captain Vancouver who surveyed this area for the first time for the Europeans. 
And he did fight in the Revolutionary War because he was a Navy officer for the British. What do you think he's going to do? Say no. So, now you know the rest of the story. I hope you don't uh, take these signs at face value and look them up. I'm talking about Mount Rainier. There she is in all her glory. And we're pretty much done. We're back at McNeil. I got to take us two and hour, two hours and thirty minutes because we stopped for lunch. Remember that? And I've got uh, five point one five miles, taking me uh, two and a half hours, and it's about a five hundred foot ascent. Coming up off the uh, Seiko Lichu.